In this episode of Sailing Doodles, we finish up our time at Black Point and then head down to Little Farmer's Key and meet some new friends. I hate to use the term stuck, but we had been in Black Point for over a week with winds over 25 knots. It was amazing that it blew that strong that long. But we were finally able to bring the dogs ashore for a little bit of beach time and a nice long walk. I think they really enjoyed themselves. How was your run? It was fantastic. I can't feel my legs though. I'm not even sure if the water's cold or not. Well, jump in. <laughs> Go for it. Go. <laughs> Clay. Clay. I was thinking about it on my own time. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm jumping. It is actually pretty cold. Jump, do it. Shut up, Bob. <sighs> the plunge. Pat. It's the first sunny day we've had in a week. That was like the polar bear plunge. <laughs> I've mentioned before we don't have a hot water heater. Oh, I'm surprised. Water even comes out of this thing. It's like frozen. What are you doing in there? <laughs> I can't video Jamie. Oh my god. She's so doing something weird in the bathroom. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm going back in. <laughs> Holy crap! Oh my god. I'm awake. I'm awake. Faster. It's always fun introducing the pups to new animals they haven't met before. They're gonna headbutt you. <laughs> Let him get a little closer. In this case, it was a nice, friendly little goat. I think it's the first time they've ever seen goats. Oh. <laughs> is that is that another dog? What is that? I don't know what that is. What's on your head, dude? Yeah. Why does a dog have horns? You look funny. Why are yours all pointed down? <laughs> to the uh, the cruisers at Staniel Point, everybody, give me a cheer. Yeah. 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 Ten times to fill our tanks. <laughs> Worth it. It's free. Yeah. I think we've been paying like fifty cents a gallon. Forty cents in the last place. Oh, it's not gonna be nice. All right. So we just left. Uh, Black Point, Exuma, great place, a couple good restaurants, really good cruising community. I highly recommend stop, making a stop there if you ever cruise down the Exumas. Um, it's still blowing 20 knots of wind, uh, so we're just motoring in the lee of the island. We're only going nine miles down to Little Farmers. And we don't feel like getting beat up and having to heel over and all that, so we're just motoring down there. Hey Maverick. Okay. He likes it. One of the great things about cruising the Exumas is that it's really easy to stay on the leeward side of the wind and waves. It makes it for a much more pleasant experience. You can see there through the cut that the waves on the sound side are still pretty big and choppy. I didn't feel just real great about how well our anchor had caught, so I went out there to check it. <laughs> Normally it's easier if you have a look bucket, or you can just put some goggles on and stick your head underwater. Alright, so we did a live feed the other day, which was quite amazing. Uh, we really got a good response. Spontaneously cool. Yeah, spontaneously was cool. Sorry for the technical difficulties on that. We'll work on it next time. Learning experience. Yeah, learning experience. But uh, one of the coolest things that happened to us during that live feed is that 
Uh, this uh, He's got a boat named Freaky, Freaky Tiki. Tiki. Freaky Tiki is awesome. So we were doing a live feed. People are like doing question and answers and all that. And they're asking where we were. He's like, well, we're at Black Point. And he got more specific. He's like, where are you now? So we told him which bar we were at. And so he... I goof- said there was a prison on the way. Yeah, said there was a prison on the way. He Googles the bar <laughs> and finds their phone number somehow. And he orders us shots and a bottle of tequila and uh that was really amazing uh, we're gonna do a live video feed now every week um because it was so much fun and we really it enjoyed it so fun. and we got a bottle of tequila <laughs> yeah freaky tea thank you and, and actually because of that we made some new friends here now we're yes. at uh, little farmer's key and so uh they said they have been cl- craving margaritas for quite a while but they have no... and so so have we yeah. so for you so. tiki you facilitated thank happiness. you freaky tiki you're amazing all right guys cheers cheers, cheers. cheers hey. y'all <laughs> to new friends yeah. and new memories welcome i'm glad they all enjoyed your time <laughs> The next morning, to make up for all the drinking we did the night before, we decided to head into town and go to a little Bahamian church. The whole congregation was really nice and welcoming, and it was Jenny's birthday, so they even singled her out and sang happy birthday to her. I speak blessings over you, long life, soundness of mind, healthy body, and wealth in every area of your life. I wasn't just real happy where we had been anchored, so we moved over to the dock. You can see there's not too many floating docks down in the Bahamas, and the tides go up and down three feet, so sometimes it can be a challenge getting off and on the boat, especially the dogs. What are you doing? Dishes. So fun. Everyone else at the dock had the same idea and was doing a little cleaning and maintenance. It really is great how you get an instant sense of community with other cruisers. I really was surprised to see how many cruisers were our own age too. We had heard there was a cave not too far away, so we took the dogs with us and did some hiking and went to go explore the cave. I used to do a lot of backpacking with the dogs, so they were pretty happy to be walking a trail again. You can see there Megan's excellent choice in hiking apparel. It was a nice little cave. Actually, it probably went back pretty far, but we didn't have the right equipment to do too much spelunking. So not only are they sailing doodles, now they're spelunking doodles. We had heard you could even do some snorkeling and diving in there, but the water was a little cold and we didn't feel much like it. Hmm. Rat flying around. I don't know, I just saw something fly. Ooh, crap! Ah! <laughs> 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 okay. Yeah, it's flying around, it's gonna bite me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have fun over there. <laughs> yeah. From this angle, you can see just how rough the water is on the Exuma sound side. I definitely wouldn't want to be out there right now. There are a ton of stickers and burrs everywhere throughout the Bahamas. So it's a constant battle keeping them off their feet and out of their fur. That evening we walked into town to meet for drinks with our friends Adam and Jenny on Whitefin and Justin and Noel on Vagabond. Yeah, we were, we were. I should-
We had just finished doing another live feed, and patrons sure. bought us even more booze. Yeah. It was pretty neat. I'll take your in charge of that. <laughs> the next day, Justin and Noel hosted brunch on their boat. They made okay. French toast, and we had mimosas. It's nice though, right? It was it's quite a treat. I don't like because like the dinghy is the only way to get to land. Yeah. yeah. Like I like on the dock when you can just get off the boat and you're there. That's you know I but thought about moving really yesterday, but the dogs were so nice to go off the dog. It is and nice being out here. Adam and, and Jenny get off the dock here. Basically, the wind's coming at 15 to 20 knots across dock. It's really shallow just on their port side. And so they have to back up, and it's shallow behind them, too. So we have to back up, pull them around. And uh, so that's why there's like eight monkeys jumping around doing this. I'm making sure they don't lose their stern into the wall. I'm acting like I'm doing something. We also have a dinghy over here helping. Yep. Reverse! It took a lot of coordination to get them out safely, but it's so awesome how the cruising community always comes together, helps out, no one asks for anything in return. It's just really great. The original plan was to have their stern pulled around, but the wind just wasn't having it. Luckily, we had the dinghy over there to help push their bow back around. That worked about as well as could be expected, and I'm really looking forward to seeing those guys on down the track somewhere. Jenny, it's going to go straight. Watch the dinghy, slow it down a little bit. Wow. Watch the dinghy, neutral. Got it. All right, you're clear. Good job. Thank you guys. All right. Yeah. Good job. Here. Hello. There you go. You're doing that. Join us next week as we snorkel on David Copperfield's piano. Megan heads home. As always, please check out sailingdoodles.com to become a patron. We're over 100 patrons now, and I want to thank you guys so much.